Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. I'm here today with a KS Craft um, guest design team project. So let me show you the dies that I was playing around with. Um, so I used a couple of the ones that were sent to me. So last time I showed you this um, snowflake die. Today I am playing around with this one. When you buy this set, you get both of these. Um, so I, again, I'm going to be playing around. I played around with this one today. They're so super cute. I just love them. Um, I also got this little shaker kit. Um, and it makes all these shakers with, uh, different shapes that are in the middle of them. So you get all of these and they all have something attached to it, like a present. There's an ornament, candy canes. There's one with a snowflake, a candle. So this is a really good deal. You get all of these and it creates like a little ornament shaker. So super cute. Um, the last one that I played around with, this is not from my uh, design team package, but it is the craft room sign um, from KS Craft, um, which I purchased this quite some time ago and I've never actually put it together. I've used the actual word dies and the scissors and stuff, but I've never actually put one together. So I wanted to play around with that. Um, so I'll link this one as well, even though this is not part of my design team package, but I will link it if you are interested in that. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you what I created. So um, the paper that I used was Doodlebug um, Winter Wonderland. And here is what I created. I just love this. I love this die, it's really cute. So I did go ahead and layer two of them. One, I just used some purple cardstock. This one is from the collection. So I made, you can make them as long as you want. Let me show you. Let me show you how. So it's open on the end. So depending on how much paper you leave left over at the bottom will determine the size of it. If you do it exactly this length, it'll basically be this size that you see right here. Um, it'll be about this size. I extended out the paper a little bit longer for the second one and that's how I created the larger one. So that's what's cool about that die as well. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Um, I did go ahead and stickle the ends of all of the, um, little snowflakes. I did put some flat back gems on there. Um, and then in the center, I did go ahead and add one of the cute little snowflakes from the collection. And then I put this cute little snowman and I added this little pom pom. Um, and then over here, you can see I put a whole mess of sequins and beads and stuff in there. And just look how cute that paper is. Just dying absolutely so cute so of course both of these came from the collection and then um, I did go ahead and put this Merry Christmas die that I used some glitter cardstock but I just love this and I don't know what took me so long to use it because it's so super cute I did make this one uh, for myself but I can see myself uh, making another one um, you know this would be a great thing to give somebody and you don't necessarily it, the, the dies that come with it is craft room, but you can put whatever sentiment you want and, you know, use it for, you know, a different holiday, make it a birthday kind of shaker. You can do it. All, there's tons of options you can do, but I absolutely love how this came out. So super cute. And I am loving these snowflake dies. I don't know what I, I know there was one years ago, but I haven't seen a newer style one in such a long time. So I'm so glad that they came out with this very very cute and there's a little handle that you can you know you could actually hang it on a door or you can just hang it up in your room or whatever but love it so super cute then I decided to um go ahead and do a Rolodex love this so cute so I used the same paper line and of course I did put it on a, a on a Rolodex card which I'll show you the back so I backed it with just regular card stock um, and then of course you see, um, the little snowflake die in the back. So super cute. This is one of those ornaments. So I did go ahead and create a little shaker, um, with the ornament as well. Um, so I just put some fun, this is kind of a mix that I made up to kind of max, match the collection. And I did put a little bit of seed beads in there. Um, I did go ahead and also add, um, one of those, what are those things? 
called Doodle Pops on the top. Um, it's a cute little reindeer, which I love. And then I added a cute little bow at the top. And I did go ahead and um, put another one. Of, this was on the same Doodle Pop as that. And I just put that in the center of the bow. Now, normally, this particular snowflake goes in the center of this ornament, which you can see that's the ornament that's in the silver right there. Um, but I did cut it out and I just kind of tucked it up here because I did want to put this in, in uh, the inside. It is connected to this, so I just kind of snipped it at the top and took that off and then I just uh, stuck it up there in the corner. Um, and then I did go ahead and put some uh, random gems uh, kind of like I did on the first one. Then I took a bit of stickles and just went around the edges. And I just love it. And I love this uh, this silver. It looks really good with this ornament. Very, very pretty. And then once you put your cute little sequins in there, how adorable. I'm just loving this. So those are the two products that I created. And again, guys, I will go ahead and um, link this information in the description box if you are interested in any of these uh, products that I've used today. Um, so of course, as always, if you have any questions, please don't forget to leave it in the comment section. And everything that, I, that we talked about will be in the description box. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That will also be linked into the description box. So you guys have a great day and have a great week coming up. And I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Um, if I have time, I might. I did receive my slot from Anna. So if I have time, I'll go ahead and do that video as well. So you guys have a good one. Bye.